Alrighty, it's been about five hours since I initially set up this new uh, worm bin and we're just gonna dig in there to see how these guys are doing. There's one guy right on the surface there. Looks like he's just chilling out eating the stuff that I had ground down for them. They probably hadn't eaten for a number of days because uh, we purchased them on Friday and so I put them in yesterday so that's you know Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days and prior to that I don't know um, how long they were sitting over at the tackle place so these, these guys are real lively they're they got a lot of energy in them but um, they were rather skinny when we first put them in so I expect them to plump up really well in the next few days and we'll just see how they do with um, just the dry food with the oats and the uh, cornmeal and the uh, eggshell powder so there's another guy here so yeah they're all staying right there on the surface nobody's trying to go anywhere I checked on them a few times um, and there's no escapees that I can see here so we are good they're happy with their setup I think that the moisture level is perfect um, just give you an idea what that's like it really it it falls off my hands very easily it doesn't clump it's very loose um, it's good to have it loose so they can easily dig around in there and get to food sources and um, eat and eventually mate hopefully but typically what they say is when you squeeze um, bedding in your hand it should kind of stick together mine doesn't so much so mine's a little bit on the drier side than what most people do um, I may add a little bit more um, water later on and of, of course uh, I don't think I don't know if I specified this in my last video but um, whenever you're adding water to your warm bed if at all possible if you have it available to you use purified water um, you know I can imagine you know with all the chemicals and stuff in tap water um, I don't think that would be good for their skin I just I, it wouldn't kill them but I just think they would thrive and do better um, just as we would you know consuming and it being exposed to cleaner water and elements and all those kinds of things so um, I always make sure that I use purified water uh, when I'm dealing with anything that has to do with anything living or anything that we eventually want to eat so um, all right that's your update thanks for watching um, we will probably feed them again in another two to three days um, I think I'll be a little bit more aggressive on the feeding with these guys because they're new they probably hadn't eaten for a while I want to get them plumped up and uh, make sure they know that there's no scarcity in food because worms when they know that they have um, food readily available and that they get food on a consistent on a consistent basis and they have enough room to um, multiply they are more likely to um, mate and um, increase their population so you sort of make sure that um, they get acclimated really quick and just know that they're going to get a steady food source so uh, I'll update you guys when we do the next feeding all right thanks for watching have a great day bye